everyone. What's going on? Let's see if I get this. Hi, Darlene. Let's see if I can get this on the holder. Oh, that was that was easy. That went easier than I thought it would. How are you guys? Let me see if I can stick that over there. I see Darlene, so. Sorry, I can't see who's coming on while I'm typing. Hey, Venus. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Crystal. Ah, uh, you fell now? What are we going to do with you, MJ? Well, I missed you guys, too. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Hillary. So... I'm going to make a, sm now I don't know if, uh, this might be a two-day project because, hey Ricky, it's, I don't know, have no idea what it's going to look like, but it may be a total fail, who knows, <laughs> hi Carol, hi Elma, so we're, I'm going to put the, what are we talking about? Her name is Beth Angel. Who we who we who are we talking about? Oh, you're talking to Tracy. Okay. All right. I thought I missed a comment. Hi, Janice. So, let me sh uh, put the camera down. I'll show. I did not get the mesh cut, which is which bugs me because you know how long that takes. And, um, hey, Alberta, how are you? I hope things are better. My, my, go, okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any comments. So I'm going to put the camera down. Hey, Sharon, how are you doing, girl? And show you what I've done so far. Time with my baby boy. Oh, I bet. Hey, Patricia. So what I did, let me see, what, I don't want all that open. What I did was, oh, I just need a bigger table. Just something bigger would be nice. Hey, Donna. Hey, Lilani. How are you? If, if you could see what she is doing. Okay. I'm missing comments. Sorry, guys. Hey, Eva. Hey, Sharon. I think I said hi. Guys, if I miss your comments, please repeat them. Hi, Donna. Did I say hi to you? Hey, girlfriend Amanda. All right. So, this is what I did so far. And let me tell you, it was a pickle to do. <laughs> I attached this, what this is, is eight white, um, eight white Christmas trees. Hi, Marcia from Texas. Welcome um, to the Unique in the Creek board. I attached them together and I'm glad I did it ahead of time because it was a pain in the neck to do. So now what I want to do, I'm trying to hide the, the bars. I took everything off except this, the, you know, the attachment, everything off the bottom 
of the posts. So I took them apart and I just attached it to the large board with zip ties. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put red in between all of these parts of the tree. Now, luckily, I bought eight trees. I thought I only needed six, but it took eight. So, I'm going to put these in the middle. And hopefully, hi Sally, hopefully the um, it would make it, it's, it's going to make the snowflakes stand out. Hi, Ellen. If it works out right, I hope. Hey, Pamela. The, these are white Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree, and I used eight. Hey, Gary. I used eight of them. So, so guys. I wanted to say something before we get really into the live. Please keep our best friend Gary, better known as Shorty. We used to call him Shorty, we now call him Gary McDaniel. He lost his mom this week. So let me tell you about Gary, and I should probably put the camera up while we talk about this. I'm going to tell you about Gary. If you're not familiar with Gary, I, I don't know how you can't be because we're going to talk about Gary and I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the camera up to do this. So, I'm going to close this because you can see my mess back there. Ah! Oh, I'm goofing it all up. Gary McDaniel, you cannot find a better person cannot find a nicer person he is on probably everybody's live he knows everyone in the com the community and he cares about everyone in the community i just had this auction sale i'm looking at a mosquito watching it i'm hoping it gets stuck over there i just had an auction sale gary purchased seven things seven to go towards the Shriner Hospital in Tampa. I cannot tell you what a kind, generous person he is. If he knows someone's upset, he cares, he goes out of his way. So everyone, please keep Gary in your prayers as he lost his mom this week. And um, although she suffered and it may have been a blessing in her case, it's still not easy to lose your mom. I know so all right let's get going so yep no better heart heart than Gary has so I'm gonna put <coughs> red <coughs> in between the um, these and I don't know it might not look right you know and if I have to rip it out I will it won't be the first time and it won't be the last but we're gonna give it a whirl anyway yeah he's there he's a good guy I'm sorry, Gary. I didn't mean to make you cry. Just want you to know how much we love you. That's my only intention. I want you to know how much we love you. I gotta spray that mosquito because I know that sucker is gonna be eating me up. Yeah. Ugh. 
All right. Oh, I hate this mesh, but. Hopefully it'll cooperate. So I only cut enough to do one section. Yeah, you're a good guy, Gary. They only come. There's not very many guys as good as you are. He does have a good heart. He even went so far as to... He paid me 20, even after purchasing seven things, he paid me $20 extra. Hi, Debbie. And I messaged him and told him that he paid me $20 too much. Hi, Helen. Hi, Margaret. And I had all intentions of writing him a check to send it back to him or put it towards his other order that he has with me and he said no he wanted it all to go to the Shriners Hospital so unbelievable <coughs> unbelievable ah I don't have a big enough table for this that's right MJ hey Deborah Hey, Melena, how are you? So what's everyone doing for Thanksgiving? We weren't going to do Thanksgiving. <clears throat> we were going to cancel it, but... Hey, Vanessa. It's only us and my sister and her husband and... We've been together, so it's silly not to do it. All right, so I guess it looks okay. So let's go. I'll have to cut some more. Hey, Shalia, how you doing? You're smoking a turkey? Wow. I, I like fried turkeys. Nobody... I do need a warehouse. Holy moly. I need something. <laughs> I need something. So, thanks to Gary, our donation to the Shriners is almost $400. M my little old me. Almost $400. After I took materials off, it's, I'm going to be writing a check to the Shriners for almost $400. I'm sorry, Tracy. Alright, I'm drinking. The last fundraiser they had, ah, oh, darn it, they only raised 250 so I feel pretty good about that. Alright, I'm just going to keep on cutting. You're going to my, your mom's house? Yeah, my sister was pretty surprised when I told her. how much it was. So, I'm sorry guys, I hate to cut mesh. I know it's boring, but gotta be done and I didn't get it done because this took <coughs> a lot longer than I expected to attach it to the board. So, so, if you are not a peep, uh, well, first I'll tell you about my paid group. I have a paid group while I'm cutting. Um, 
$9.99 a month. I try to do things in there that I don't normally do on a live. We would, if you would like to join us, my fan is on. Yes, it is, Gary. Oh, I won't make it for me. <laughs> um, please sign up with your PayPal subscription that is under my affiliate post on my page before you ask to join. Some people are, uh, at, some people do not sign up with the PayPal subscription. Hey, Brenda. And then they just get automatically declined. So, anyway, and if you are a regular Connie's peep, we've been posting some really good recipes in there. Still in the hospital. She's the one that does the cooking. Oh, I'm sorry, Helen. It's definitely not going to be a normal Thanksgiving. Hey, Brenda! How you doing, girl? You know what? The other night, I forgot to tell you, I had two more. I had two more, um... I know. Cutting mesh is so boring, and I always try to get this part done before I go live, but it didn't work out, so... Here we are. I can, I will go French. I mean, <laughs> I love Carol and Hillary. Um, so yeah, if you are a regular Connie's Peeps, we're sharing lots of great recipes in there. Hi, Nellie. So, if you are not, you can ask to join Connie's Peeps. Just Connie's Peeps, not VIP. That is a free. Doing all right, girl. Cutting mesh, my hated job. Hi, Sandy. I tell you what, if somebody invents mesh that's already cut, I think they would make a bundle. Did he, Brenda? Awesome. Yes, those p three ingredient peanut butter cookies are so easy and so good. So, I hate this mesh. So, yeah, I still have two more three ingredient recipes to share with you tonight. I forgot to, I only shared one the other night. So, I will definitely do that during the live. So, I'm cutting this nine inches because that's all you have to cut it. You don't have to cut it ten inches. Thank you for sharing your talent, answering our questions, answering the uh, Aw, you're welcome, Helen. Thank you for that. You're so sweet. Listen, I know. I don't like when somebody doesn't talk to us, talk to me. If I get on somebody's live and I say hi and they don't answer me, I don't keep watching. <laughs> I know. It's easy to miss. It is easy to miss people saying hi. It really is. Especially if you have a lot of people watching. But I still get mad. <laughs> so I never want to do that to my people. And if I do miss you, please repeat. Because it does bother me. Hey, Leanne. Oh, and if you're not already doing this, please do so. Gosh, I'm giving away my things. Please do this. Please, please. We're almost to, well, we got a ways to go, but we're trying to get to 8,000. I don't go back, especially when they speak to everyone else. I hear you, Brenda. I hear you, girl. Um, 
We're, I'm hoping to get to 8,000 before Christmas. I don't know. I think it's pushing it. I really do because we have, we're only at 73 something. Aw, oh, thanks, Helen. Hi, Betty. Your husband's baking pies, Venus? Girl, send him to my house. I feel if to watch you, can you at least say hi? I hear you, Judy. That's the way I feel. Listen, you're fine, Sandy. You're not late at all, girl. I'm still, I'm behind. Hi, Vivian. Um, this is just regular old deco mesh. In fact, this is probably value mesh. But surprisingly, value mesh is thicker than some of the other meshes. And <clears throat> Craft Outlet didn't have a whole lot of red. Yes, we want to play bingo. Six done? Wow, girl. I'm making... I'm making a peanut, pe that Butterfinger pie. I can't wait to try that. New prayers. Our governor had went 10 people in the gathering, which will more than likely hurt us at the wholesale at the flea market. Oh, I'm sorry, Hillary. Hey, May. How are you? You're not late at all. You're not late. I haven't even been counting. I don't even know how many I cut. <laughs> I know I need 48, so I know I'm not near that. Look thin to be regular mesh. Yes, it is it is uh, probably value mesh. Hey, what? Are you going to spread out the limbs of the tree when it's finished? I don't know, Ricky. I'm going to wait and see what it looks like after I get the mesh on. Because I want this, I don't want to lose the snowflake. So I'm not sure if I'm going to spread them out or not. Hi, Betty. I don't know what HM means. I'm okay, May. Concord grape is one. Concord grape pie? How are you, Betty? Okay. I'm going to start putting them in now. Yeah, I'm not sure, I, you know... Oh, thanks, Marsha. Yeah, I figure, why not? I'm making a snowflake, um, May. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. But I'll tell you, it was a Dickens to attach to the board. But, we shall see. Alright, I'm going to stop there. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Let's see how many I have. My table's so small, I have to put them together. Five. Six. I sure not close to what I need. So... Uh, let me finish counting and then remind me to tell you. Fourteen, fifteen. I don't even know if I'm counting right. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23. Alright, so, I hope that one rolls enough for this. Because I have to make sure I have enough for my marathon. So, we're having a marathon. Um, 
got your ornament in love that it's snowed here in North. Oh, I'm so happy, Betty. I'm so happy you got the, got it and you like it. Hey, Roxanne. So our marathon with Katie's Clubhouse is December 5th. And it's turning out to be a two-day event. And I will be on Sunday at 12.30 Eastern. I was supposed to be on Saturday, but someone had to switch, so I am on Sunday at 12.30. <clears throat> and Katie switched it to two hours. <laughs> and I've been doing all this prepping, and now I'm concerned. I don't know if I have two hours worth of <laughs> things to do. So now I have to stretch it out and hopefully, hopefully I'll have two hours worth of stuff. We'll see. Hey, Mr. Tom Tom, my BFF, what's up? What is up? My BFF love, what's up? So that's December 5th and 6th. Hey, Susan girl, how you doing? Our clubbies are doing a marathon. And I don't know everybody's schedule, but I know I'm on at 1230 on Sunday. Work slow, right, Carol? I will. <laughs> Hi, Lois. Hey, Roxy and girlfriend. There's all my clubbies coming in. Katie, I was just talking about our marathon. I missed you too, Susan. Um, I was telling everyone how I was prepping and prepping because I thought I wouldn't get done in an hour. <laughs> now I have to figure out what to do for two hours. I'm going to have to go really slow, but at least at least it'll be a lot more um, clubby love. Yes. I won't have to be so stressed. Hey, Ashley! About Russian, so... Yes. Hey, Laura. How are you, girl? Well, I don't know. We'll see about this. Hey, Beverly. Star out of hangers. Nope. This star, this is a snowflake. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. I'm doing candy canes. Yeah, I get to take my time. I get to take my time. I, actually, I feel better because I won't be so, oh gosh, I only have an hour. <laughs> um, I'm making a snowflake, and I don't know what it's going to look like. So this is a big, big, I don't know. <laughs> it's a big, I don't know. It doesn't look right. Bye-bye. <laughs> and it won't be the first. Bye-bye. We canceled our things. Oh, I'm sorry, Susan. We were going to cancel ours, too. But it's just my family and my sister and her husband so we are going to just do it because we're around each other anyway so it's not really that much difference same to you laura same to you girl so i attached eight white christmas trees to a large flower frame 
it took quite a while to do it. But you know, they're always so flimsy if they're by themselves, so. These are eight white Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree. And I'm so mad because I only bought eight. I should have bought all the ones they had, and I didn't. I only bought eight. Yeah, that's what we're doing, Brenda. Everything is so different this year. Uh, Christmas and New Year's is probably going to be... I mean, normally... Debbie with me, your heart and mine. Yes, exactly, Roxanne. Normally, I have a New Year's Eve party because I hate staying home for New Year's. And if I don't do a party... My husband would never wait, wait till midnight. He'd be in bed at 11 o'clock. <laughs> so, I started doing New Year's Eve parties. But, it's not going to happen this year. Just, everything's different this year. We'll definitely go down in the history books. Geez, MJ, how many times can you post or test positive? Our sons and their family live in Florida, and so just a small meal for hubby well, and myself here in the city. Yes, Kay. I think that's what everybody's doing this year. Okay. I hear you, Susan. I hear you. That's right. I understand, Hillary. I didn't know that you could have it more than once. I didn't either, Brenda. Daughters in Tampa tested positive. Really, MJ? Hey, Debbie. Hey, Marla. You're not late, girl. Catherine says, 9 a.m. trying to catch up on Christmas wreath orders. Girl, I wish I had your problem. <laughs> I want your problem. That's a good problem to have, girlfriend. But I can understand why you're so busy. Because those wreaths are beautiful. Yep. You know, I'm getting to I'm getting sad because Christmas um is almost over. The you know, for wreathers, I'm saying. We're getting close to the end of the season already. It's sad. <laughs> I I get sad at the end of our wreath season. It's time to move on to Easter and St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day. It just goes by too fast. Yes, girl. Did I tell you I cut up a Christmas tree? <laughs> I cut up a Dollar Tree Christmas tree. Right, Susan? It just goes by too fast. Because I couldn't find any of those, any more of those fern or evergreen twist ties. Let me tell you about Dollar Tree. If you go on their website and you see something that you want, you better order it when you see it. Because if you wait, you're not going to get it. Hi, Brenda. You're not going to get it. Just gonna, oh, I can. Ooh, that sounds nice, MJ. Sounds good. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to fluff these branches up. we got to wait until everything's in it and see if I like it. I don't know. The jury's still out. And lots of stores are closing because of the virus. I know, Tom. I know, it's crazy. I 
Are you sure, Marla? I tried to order them. They said they were out. They were out of them. You're all kind of Yeah. Bring Lysol wipes and... and spray. So my cousin's um, daughter tested positive for COVID. Oh gosh, really, Roxanne? No, I haven't heard that. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, it's bad here too. I don't know, Kay. <laughs> this is just a this is just a weird thing I thought of. Like I said, if it doesn't look right, out it comes. I really am just putting the mesh in to have the sunflower or snowflake stand out. That was my only purpose of the mesh. This thing is heavy. Wow. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear just good stuff. Let's just let's just have good stories to tell. <laughs> no more bad stuff. No more bad stuff. I do too, Brenda. I think we all do. We all want that. I don't, and this new shot's coming out, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to take it right away. I want to make sure it doesn't kill people before I take it. I don't even take the flu shot. Oh, yes, I'm going to add lights. That's right, positive and funny stuff. So I don't know. What am I ordering? What you mean? Well, oh, I was ordering um, evergreen ties from I hear you, Brenda, from um, Dollar Tree, and I couldn't do it. They said they were out of them, but Marla said they had them, so I don't know. I hear you, Ricky. I hear you. I think what, what scares me is I think it was a little rushed, so, you know, who knows? I'll have to do some adjusting. Garland ties from Dollar Tree. Yes, that's what I was trying. Jojo, congratulations, girl. I was waiting for you to come on so I could congratulate you. They do, Tom? I'll have to. So Jojo from jojo's rustic remnants hit her 5,000 followers tonight so happy for her congratulations girl i got to stay long enough to watch it happen and then i had to go it's always so exciting so yes we're working yeah, that's so exciting to hit those milestones. I just love it. All right, so I'm going to have to cut some more of this yucky mesh, but I guess it's looking pretty good. It's looking good. I heard Nate say that he cuts up branches from old Christmas trees. Yes, 
In fact, I've been wanting to go to, um, what you call it? Um, oh, what's the name of that place? <laughs> what's the name of that place? Good, good. What is it? Starts with a G O O D. Oh my word. I completely lost it. Goodwill. Oh my goodness. I've been wanting to go to Goodwill to see if they have any old stuff. JoJo made 5,000 tonight, girl. She made her 5,000. So exciting. Um, Goodwill, yeah. I've been wanting to go to Goodwill to see if anyone threw it, you know, turned in some old Christmas trees. They have nothing? Yeah. I know. It looks so pretty with the flocking. You can stick out your tongue and no one will ever know. <laughs> There. So yeah, I, but you know, I have it. I don't go as much to too many places. So, with all this stuff going on, you know. Did I just see a string? I thought I did. see Joan, you crazy gal? Who's Joan? Alright, right, let me look at this. Let me, let me get my... Well, it's looking okay. I guess it's looking okay. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep on going. What did you think of the snow... Of, I want one, Tom. Tom, I want one. I'm your secret Santa, right? So go get me one. <laughs> I, oh, I forgot, Gary. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Yes. I made the same one he made in one of my videos. Um, I know it's at Walmart. Go get me one. <laughs> I want one. It's so darn cute. I was I was laughing at Damon because actually when he was done with that. Um, I messaged him. Hey, Lillian. I said, I can't believe I missed you on the Unique in the bo Creek board. And we were, I was laughing at him because he used two ribbons in each tie. <laughs> but it still came out cute. Nana's not your secret Santa. You're lying. <laughs> you are lying, Tom. Yes, go back and watch it. I did the same one he did. to Just to prove you only need one ribbon in each tie. Alright, let me see how many I need. I'm a little concerned that I'm not going to have enough on this, but I have more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18 more. Gosh, I still need 18. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if we have enough or not. I'll be in trouble if I don't have enough red left for my marathon. I will be in trouble. I'm sure everybody's out of red mesh by now. 
crap, I forgot how many I said I needed. Does anyone remember? So this is the wood burning tool. I am, whenever you use it, go in between the squares on the mesh. 18, thank you, Ricky. I forgot. I'm telling you, I can't even remember two minutes from now. Thanks, guys. I forgot. You guys have a better memory than me. I know for a fact I probably don't have enough on this roll. <laughs> That's why I say your secrets are safe with me because I can't remember anything. Five minutes, I can't remember. To watch all eyes that I want to see. I know. I feel the same way. I, I watch mostly replays. Look at this. Because I never can get on when everybody's on. I often wonder it says that you can bring people on now I was on I was on Teenie's live with her not too long ago reading her comments for her and it actually worked so I don't know why. Remember I tried to bring Katie on with me and I couldn't do it. So I don't know if they changed that or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, got on my craft table to write down numbers. <laughs> I hear you, Alma. Did I order the kit? No, I didn't. I wanted to, but I figured, you know, by the time I get it, <clears throat> it it'll probably be too late to make it for Christmas. I am going to do another auction sale in December and send this one for St. Jude's hospital for children we have a we have a st jude's here in um miami so i'm going to do another auction sale in december for that i have to get more mesh hang on guys one roll isn't enough for sharing. Oops, not supposed to say that. Hey, Melissa girl, what's up? Uh, my most hated job. Well, next to attaching the sign, I'd say the mesh is number two. <laughs> Why are you going to pull my eyes out? What you talking about? <laughs> Hugging the bear. 
I'm gonna send him a thing of tweezers for Christmas. <laughs> oh gosh, you crazy. You are crazy. The Christmas tree fell over three times. Does that mean the Grinch stole my Oh my gosh, Melissa. I'm going to add something to the center. I'll have to see how much I have to cover first. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need eight more. Eight more. Doing Christmas is almost done with. That's nice, Lisa. Are they being bad? have to send me a picture and let me see it. Two. We need to invent a machine that cuts mesh. Three. I swear we'd be rich. I really do. There is a store that has red mesh here in Hedford. Would you like for me to send you some? If it, it is not like that. I'll, let me check and see how much I have, Brenda. And I will let you know. Thank you, though. Thank you for the offer. Yes, there are recipes tonight. Two recipes. Remind me, I can't believe I didn't give them to you. The other night. Friday, whenever, Thursday. I had them here. Three. And if you're a Connie's peep, go and check out all the, not now, but after the live, go check out all the good recipes everyone's posting. One, two, three, four, five. How many did I count? How many did I cut? Anybody paying attention? Anybody know? Four. I don't remember. Roxanne started it. Are you two misbehaving? Yes, this is Joanne, and welcome. Everyone, welcome Joanne. She's new with us. This is a wood burning tool. I am cutting in between the squares on the mesh. Hey, Andrea girl. How are you? All right, I'm going to stop there because I, I, I didn't count. I miscounted. If we need more, we'll just cut more. I know I had eight to cut, but I wasn't counting. Dumb me. Yep, I need 18. Three, four, see how many I have. Five, six. Actually, I need 19 because I have one more to add. Seven, eight. Awesome. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's nine inches, inches, Deborah. I know you did. I'm going to make that. 16. I'm going to make your Butterfinger pie, Melissa. 
I can't wait to try it. I need one more because I, I needed one more from the other row. So, you get it over with and cut it. What's new? All right. Let's get crack a lacking. I needed one more on this row. Yes, it's 10 inch mesh, and I cut it nine inches. Ooh, MJ, you need to you need to post some of those good recipes on our peeps page. Just what I need, right? More all these good recipes. Okay. Almost looks like a peppermint. That wasn't my goal, though. My goal wasn't to look like a... Hey, teeny girl! What's up? My goal was to make it look like a snowflake. We and Lisa don't have any of the snow yet. No? Don't rush it, right? This is the large board, uh, the large flower board from Unique in the Creek. And if you go to my affiliate link and just, well, you better post the recipe, girl. If, if you just click on my link for Unique in the Creek before you order, it'll bring you right to their page and you will save 10% on your boards. And that pertains to anyone, even out of the country. So now Canada can use my link to order their boards and save 10%. So that's a good thing. Mom enjoy candy. That sounds yummy. Ridgeway is in Pennsylvania, Tina. Teeny, sorry. Coconut custard pies. Ah, not sure if I like coconut custard because I'm not a creamy person. Like. I know my kids say I'm crazy, but I don't like whipped cream or pudding or any of that. You're jonesing? <laughs> Girl, aren't we all? Let me open this up just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Connie's Peeps, Deborah. Not the VIP page. The regular Connie's Peeps. It has a picture of a girl and a guy on there with um, purple t-shirts. Oh, so, all right. So let me give you a recipe right now. Connie, there is sort of a machine that can cut mesh. I was watching a Unique in the Creek video the other day on using a back sealer. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I have used uh I've used the back sealer, but I always just grab the it's actually an impulse sealer, I guess. But for me it's just easier to grab the uh, wood burner. 
I have used that also. Ooh, that sounds good, Brenda. That sounds yummy. Okay, let me finish this row and then I'm going to give you a recipe. Hi, Shauna. I'm with you, Connie. I don't like putting... I know. Isn't it awful, Venus? <laughs> my kids think I'm crazy. And whenever it's not my birthday, I have to suffer through whipped cream <laughs> cakes. My kids always say, we always have to get the buttercream for you. I said, yeah, because buttercream is better. <laughs> So, yeah, if you're a peep, go share some of your good recipes. All right, let's 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 see one of these three-ingredient cookie recipes. I think the other night I just gave you the banana chocolate one. So, and if you're new joining us, my, the one I always share is the peanut butter cookies because I have actually tried those and they are very good. I have not tried any of these so I can't say how good they are. But let me hold it up for you. This is three ingredient shortbread cookies. So I'm holding it up so you can screenshot it. Can you see it? And then I'll tell you what it says. All right. I'm a joy of group messenger. Okay. These are three ingredient shortbread cookies. One cup of butter half a cup of powdered sugar, and two cups of flour. You preheat the oven to 350, cream the sugar and the butter, and then add the flour, mix until the dough comes together. Wrap the log of cookie dough in plastic and allow to firm in the fridge for 30 minutes. I never do that. <laughs> And then, um, once the dough is firm, you can cut them three quarters of an inch and um, bake them 16 to 18 minutes until they're just golden. I want to try that one. That one sounds good to me. That one sounds good. It just says flour, so I'm... I'm sure it's not self-rising because it would say self-rising. Let me see. Yeah, it says all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. Yep. Alright, let's keep going. So the peanut butter recipe is a cup of sugar cup of peanut butter and an egg. Now, I'm telling you, I have had them. They are so good. And you'll never make the regular peanut butter cookie recipe again. And you bake them until they're brown. You, you know, you flatten them with a fork, kind of crisscrossed. They are really good. Brenda made them. Anyone else? Did anyone else try the peanut butter recipe? Cup of peanut butter, cup of sugar, and an egg. That's a really old recipe. We, I've made them for years and years. We was trick. Oh. There isn't much difference between the two as far as I can tell. <laughs> yes, they are delicious and they're so easy. So easy. 
my husband, no flour, nope, cup of peanut butter, cup of sugar, and an egg. My husband's aunt gave us that recipe like, I don't know how many years ago. And I had my doubts when she gave them to us. And I had to try it. Ugh, they are so good. I, I like them mushy. You know, I like them just cooked. Oh, yum. Yum, yum. Hmm. All right, we're almost done with this mesh part. Aw, that's cute. 48, Deborah. 48 pieces. There are, let me see, three, four, five, six pieces of mesh in between each section. Can you use sugar substitute in them? I've never try, uh, done it, Gina, but try it. It won't hurt. You know, they sell it now in big bags. The Trevia and the Splenda is sold in big bags now. If you try it, let me know how it comes out. I don't see why you couldn't. We are going to fluff these up a little. Someone asked me earlier if I'm going to fluff the tree up, these trees, and I am going to. I wanted to wait and see. I love no-bake cookies, Lisa. I make those all the time, too. Um, I think our Hillary posted those into our site, the no bake cookies. Yum, yum. This is the time to make cookies, sandies, which are delicious with coffee. Yes, they, I love pecan sandies. True, Debbie. What temperature and how long you bake the cookies? I bake them at 350, um, and I usually always set the timer for, uh, did you stick a butter? Ooh, okay, post that in our Connie's Peeps page. That sounds good. Um, until they're light brown. Peanut butter no bake? What's that? Girl, you need to post these recipes. Is the tree zip tied down some? Yes, Deborah. It's zip tied to the boards. To the. And it was. I'll, I'll tell you what. It was a pain in the you know what to do it. <laughs> it was not an easy job. It will work with that recipe. It works in cheesecake. Sounds good. All these recipes are making me hungry. <laughs> They're making me hungry, guys. Hey, Debbie. How are you doing? Well, thanks, Melissa. You better tell me when you're doing it, girl, because you know I won't. I'll have to catch the replay because I always miss everything. Of course, Melissa, my Publix didn't have the big, the big Cool Whip, so I had to buy two little ones. Is that do I use both of them for the Butterfinger pie? Yes, it's zip-tied all over the board. 
Deborah. I'll show you the back. I first zip tied two sections together. And what I was going to do is just zip tie, you know, the eight sections together. What is this? Did I miss one over here? It looks like I did. But then um, it wasn't working out. So I had to just like put them in one at a time. Thursday at two, Almond Joys. All right. Thursday at two. You think I'm going to remember that? Girl, <laughs> that's too far from today. <laughs> too small work just fine. Too small what? I never remember that. I couldn't even remember five minutes ago. Girl, <laughs> I can't even remember how many things I have to cut. <laughs> Your friend is no hope. You joke with him. He takes it seriously. Ha ha. I do love you, but I'll never remember. I won't. I won't remember, girl. I won't remember. So did you answer me? I had to buy two small... Oh, two small will work just fine. All right. That's what you were talking about. Thank you. Yeah, I thought, oh, great. They don't have a large one. They had to try to convince, you know, they had to try to confuse me. So, yes, this Butterfinger pie that Melissa made, a Buckeye Girls, read some things. Um, it was... It sounds so good, even though I don't like creamy, but peanut butter creamy, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <coughs> it was, Melissa, print it out, put it on there. <laughs> yes, Buckeye Girls reads some things. She does the recipes on her live. The Butterfinger Pie is on there, too, and I think it's like half of a whole big Cool Whip and a cup. He ate half of it. He's so skinny. How does he get away with that? Girl, I look at it and gain weight. A half of a large Cool Whip and a cup of peanut butter and a cup of powdered sugar, right? Hey, Jean! And then, oh, I did I did I cut one too many? Probably. I didn't need all them. And you put it in a graham cracker crust, and then you top it with the other half. Buckeye girls wreaths and things. And then the other half, a Cool Whip, you put it on top, and then you put a crushed Butterfinger on top of that. How easy is that? You don't have to bake it or anything. Half of the Cool Whip, yep. She's, she's putting the recipe in there for you guys. Alright, we finally got the re all the mesh on, so let's fluff this up just a little bit. We're going to fluff the trees. This is eight trees. Eight. And darn, I didn't buy any more. Because you know when I go back to that Dollar Tree, they're not going to have any more. It was stupid of me. Oh, look at that long one. We don't want the long one. We cut those off. It does sound delicious, doesn't it? That's what Christmas is all about. Right? Eating and gaining 10 pounds. Of course, I don't need Christmas as an excuse for that. So I'm just going to fluff these up a little. Mm 
Yes. Thanks, Ricky. I am going to fluff them up a little. I don't know why. This doesn't seem like it belongs there. All right, Hillary. Just turn your scale back 10 pounds, right, Joanne? Ugh, wouldn't it be nice if it was that easy? Pigging out and regrets. I have lost weight and sugary because I don't feel like eating. Really, Melissa? Would be cool with royal blue night sky. Yes, Debbie. It would. There's no calories at Christmas time? Who are you dreaming, girl? You're just dreaming. Now. <laughs> Now, I do want to add lights to this. But I may do that on um, tomorrow night. Hey, Jojo. Um, this snowflake is what I'm going to put in the middle. Let me... If it covers enough of the bad stuff. If it doesn't, I was going to put a snowflake like that in the middle, but I'm thinking I might need a white bow instead because it's not big enough to cover it, cover all the goodies in the middle. Hi, Lorraine. You're filming three to five videos a day? Gosh, girl, better you than me. Um, so I think I'm going to have to add a white, I'm going to do a white bow and maybe put this in the middle of the bow. Are you, Carol? Do you normally make hitched product projects? I don't know what that means, Jean. What's a hitched product project? Oh. So let's get some white mesh make a bow for the middle and then I'd probably put this inside the middle of the bow because I need I need to cover up more of this garbage <laughs> Dollar Tree snowflakes like that they're beautiful yes that's where I got these at Dollar Tree unique oh do I normally make unique in the creek yes Joanne I do sometimes I don't though sometimes I make other stuff I've, I've done a few wire wire wreath frames recently but Unique in the Creek is my favorite thing to do what's Martha Washington balls yeah, I made a grapevine, too. Shocked everybody. <laughs> okay. Let's make a bow. Thanks, Joanne. Is it Joanne? Yeah, it's Joanne. Leave your last comment. Use your candy cane ribbon. Okay. Well, I want it to look like a snowflake. So... That's why I'm going to use just the white. Good night, Hillary. I do that, but my husband says no coconut. Yeah, my husband doesn't like coconut either, but too bad. I do. <laughs> hey, BJ, how are you? Let me get some white ribbon. And the pro bow. I'm going to get the pro bow out. 
Oh, let me see. I have to hang this. Oh, I didn't put the hanger in yet. Let me put the hanger in so I could hang this out of the way. So I had to add holes, by the way, in between the, um, let me show you the back of this. I had to add lots of holes because they didn't fall where they were supposed to. There is nothing wrong with the turn out beautiful. Oh, thanks, Ricky. I appreciate that. So, I had to get a wonky zip tie. All right, let me show you the back. That one's long. I didn't even see that. But you see how I was adding holes in between? The holes are all crazy. I just added them where I thought I needed them. Where I did need them. And then the hanging hole, I had to add some. Half a cup of butter. Two cups of sugar. Peanut butter. Oh, yes. Girl, you'll have to send me that, Lisa, because I'll never remember it. All right. I'm going to hang this up so I can make a bow. And we're going to use the pro bow. I just have to get it. What happened to it? Where did it go? The Provo fell back there. Oh, this table, this chair is crazy. Making noises and it's crazy. Does that have oatmeal in it, Lisa? That sounds really good. The one I make has oatmeal in it. Put that candy cane. Yeah. But then it'll look like, it won't look like a snowflake. Going to bed, Melissa. Thank you, Deborah. I will get them ready for you. But it appears it will be Wednesday when they will be ready. Is that okay? What are we talking about, Ricky? What are we getting ready? I missed something. It has a coconut. I, I love coconut. I can't believe you don't like coconut. I love coconut. Good night, Brenda. Have a good night, girl. This is the new Probo, if you're not familiar with it. It's called the Pro Model. I love coconut. What's wrong with them, right? <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? I'll put the red away. I'll, I'll have to save it. Good night, Lois. Are you on vacation, Lois? Or I should say, are you enjoying your vacation? Get this stuff out of the way. Oh, this stuff makes such a mess. Okay. I need to get some white. 
ribbon. I'm really getting low on white ribbon. I'm getting I'm taking a drink, Gary. Good night, Gary. Yes. You have a great time, Lois. Ooh. See if you get the wire. <laughs> you don't like coconut, Andrea. My husband don't like it either. My girl, granddaughter like it. We love coconut. What's wrong with them? Coconut's good. I never have any though, and I always forget to buy it. I never have half the stuff I need. Then I get mad. Alright, so I got the two wires out. Gonna make the bow really quick. around I need to have that recipe K put it in the peeps page good night Terry I didn't know you were here did I miss saying hi to you I had to show one of my son's friends how to crack a coconut I don't know if I'd know how either. Your husband loves coconut? Not mine. He, as soon as I tell him it's coconut, ew, no. <laughs> but this is the same husband that loves mince. His favorite cookie is mincemeat cookies. It's Connie's Peeps. Just Connie's Peeps. You got to what, Amanda girl? What you saying? You saying I got to go? I'm sorry if I missed you, Terry. Have a if you're leaving, have a great night, girl. I got the heavy bed, girl. I have Oh my gosh, girlfriend. Yes, go to bed. Go to bed. So you just, I'm just going to make a really quick bow. I do too, Carol. Anything coconut. Got to put my hang, helping hand wire in. What the heck? Did I miss the middle part? No, it's there. So there's no school all this week. Our area took away a lot of the, um, I like those cookies too, Lisa. I make them all the time. Our area took a lot of the half days off that the kids used to get. And now they get the whole week at, e at Thanksgiving off. Which is good. Good night, Tracy. fried because then it's crunchy but not raw. 
girl. Fried coconut. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. All right, I'm just going to put one around each peg. Oh, you're saying goodnight to Amanda? Okay. Instead of two, because it's hard to put. And if anyone needs, wants instruction on the Probo, Okay, Elisa, I will, girl. I haven't been baking. Read my message. Roxanne, let me show everyone how to open coconut crack. <laughs> oh, God. Tom, you're so bad. <laughs> Jeez. Tom's, Tom and Roxanne, they crack me up. My son has the whole week off, but the hubby only gets Thursday and Friday. Well, my daughters have to work Friday. I think they should give them Friday off. They have to work Friday. So I'm, I'm not giving instruction on the Probo because I'm going kind of fast, but I'm pretty sure you can pretty much see how I'm doing it. The biggest thing to remember is when that the wrong side of the ribbon goes around the pegs. And when you get to the middle, you always have to flip the ribbon. So... Really, Andrea? And, and I'm the opposite. I make better bows with... Really, Kay? I'm lost as a goose on the pro bow. Oh, gosh. Now, see, if I want a really pretty bow made, I pull out the pro bow. To me, it makes the prettiest bows, although I've seen some pretty beautiful bows made with the Easy Bow Maker. Did you guys know that I actually won the, I won the contest when um, Leah Cavender came out with the new Probo with the Rose Maker? There was a contest on naming the Rose, the Easy Bow Maker. And I won the contest. It was so exciting because I got to go to Crafters Convention and that's where they announced it. It was kind of cool. So it's called the Easy Rose and Bows Maker or Easy Bows and Rose Maker. One of the two. <laughs> it's been so long I forgot. Isn't it terrible? I forgot. But I thought that was neat, neat, neat. Okay. So once you get to this point, right, it does, Kay. Always remember to take this off because I have forgotten this wire before. Yes. I didn't know my husband when he was in the military. I'm glad because I didn't want to have to, I would not have been able to, it would have been horrible while he was in Vietnam. I wouldn't have been able to take that. So I'm glad I didn't know him then. So I'm tightening. Damon makes everything. I know he does. He absolutely does. And so does Scott. Scott makes beautiful bows on the Easy Bow Maker. Absolutely beautiful. Hard to hear me? Uh, Mary, go out and is anyone else having a hard time hearing me? Because normally the Mevo picks up everything. It's been quite an adventure, yes. Trying to cut this, trying to cut the wire evenly. 
if you if you uh, make sure your volume's turned up, Mary, if it is, um, try going out and coming back in for the volume. I have that hard. I have a hard time with that on my desktop. Of course, if you're not hearing me, you probably can't say what, tell what I'm saying. Yeah. You hear me fine? Yeah. I, you know, on my desktop, I can't hear lives. I have to turn the computer off. And, um, you're having a hard time too, Jeanette? That's odd. But I do have a problem with my desktop. I have to restart the live to get the volume to come on. What do I do with this? What the heck did I do with the... Oh, jeez, it's right here. Yeah, I cannot hear lives on my desktop. I don't know what the heck it is, but I always have to restart to hear. There's, that's my air conditioner, okay? Okay. Yes, believe it or not, we have our air conditioner. Well, we, I have it on in here. My husband has it off in the house. So I'm just going to fluff. Fluff the bow really quick. Just, I'm muffled. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I don't know why that is, Mary. I'm sorry. I'm just fluffing really quick. I'm not a fan of pudding, Lisa. Um, I like corn casserole. Sounds perfect. That's good. But I'm not a fan of pudding. What size is the silver wire? It looks thick. Uh, let me look. Where did I put it? Um, it is. Doesn't say. It doesn't say what size it is. Let me see what this one is. It's probably the same. That's weird. It doesn't tell... Uh, 24 gauge. It's 24 gauge. I hope this... I hope this bow is big enough. We'll soon find out. Yeah, I never heard of corn pudding. How do you make corn pudding, Lisa? Everyone wants to know, including me. You think it's 27 gauge? It could be. I don't know, it doesn't tell me. Drop this probe. I dropped this fluff box on my foot earlier today. Oh, okay. All right, let me see. Hopefully, this does the trick. Let me see. Try to find the holes now. Oh, I know for a fact. I'm just going to get my needles out to, to get this to go in the holes. I'm not even going to mess with it because I know it'll be hard to do. How come I only... There's the other one. Alright. I know it'll be hard. So I'm just going to get the... Uh, needles out 
to get them through the holes. I'll never find them if I don't. Never would I find it. Yeah, put it on here. Everyone wants to know. There's one. the other wire. People bring corn pudding to the church. It's delicious, not sweet, but spoons out like pudding. Hi, Hallie. How are you doing, girl? I know I'm going to have to cut those tails. The one time I made long tails, I don't think I want them on here. Oh gosh, I hope they don't have it, girl. There's just so much of it, jeez. Yeah, I'm going to cut the tails off. Definitely don't want them. No, it doesn't. Thanks, Brenda. Yes, prayers for no COVID. I'm sure they, they will do fine, but we don't want you to catch it. doing some more fluffing I can see that definitely more fluffing do they have a high fever it has Debbie it has Lots of Germany's going around for that's for sure. Yep. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is cut these tails even with the bow. I'm 
of fluff fluff and more fluff now see that's why I think my husband had it they're saying that he didn't have it but when he was really sick I swear he had it but they're saying he didn't have the symptoms well the only symptom he didn't have was the fever but he was sick for like two months if you guys all remember this this has been a this has been a real challenge of a of a grief let me tell you guys it has been a real challenge so I'm gonna flatten this now I'm gonna flatten the bow which I probably should have just done it up with the Easy Bow Maker or the uh, Bow Dabra because I am going to flatten it. You know, this snowflake is not, it's not pure white. Can you believe how many different colors of white there is? I know. Well, my goal was to make it look like a snowflake. And it sort of does, but... I'm still going to use this snowflake in the middle. No snowflake? Really? I kind of thought I liked it. You don't like the snowflake? Thanks, Kay. So you think it's better without the snowflake? Let me look. Not white enough. So, that was last March when my son, they checked his, everyone including me had a mask. I don't fluff the bow. <laughs> no snowflake. So you guys think I don't need a snowflake, huh? Fluff the bow? Well, I did have the bow fluffed. No snowflake. You guys are bursting my bubble. <laughs> You're bursting my bubble. All right. You win. You win. All right. I'm going to glue this because it's not really sitting on really well. your silver gems in the middle. Yeah. Red and white snowflake ornament. Well, Hallie, that doesn't do me any good right now. <laughs> I need it like now. Yeah, 
I mean, look at this. Now, look at this. Does that not look white? I mean, it looks white, right? But then when you put it down here, it's like off-white. I know it. It's not white. It's so disappointing. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, let me fluff the snowflake a little more. We'll just fluff up the snowflakes. I'm going to look at something. No, that's way too big. So I'm not sure. What do you think? I don't know if I need lights or not. It's definitely different. different, right? But I kind of like it. I mean, who would have thought to put Christmas trees on the board, right? I could spray that snowflake with white. Um, and then try it again. But I do like it. I, I like the way it came out. And I think I'm not going to put lights on it. I don't think I'm going to. You know, Damon tells us not to put lights on our wreaths. <laughs> he does, but I always defy everything he says. <laughs> I'm not a good student. I like lights on my wreaths. <laughs> I'm not a good student. <laughs> I'm always in the, what do you call that? In the dunce. I, I, I'm, always, I'm always in the corner. <laughs> the snow, oh, it does. Now that you, it does look kind of ivory. No, he doesn't like lights. He tells us not to put them in our wreaths, but I don't listen. I'm a bad student. <laughs> Ugh. So I may spray that with white and see if I can get it white. But I'm trying to make sure it's fluffed and hiding everything that it needs to hide. But I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? <laughs> I think it looks good. Yes, I am. I am going to spread the branch. Well, I did spread the branches more. Some of them have less branches than the others. Have to be careful because I don't want to spread too much and then be able to and then see the board. I don't want that. So, so if anyone would like this, 
It is sixty-five plus shipping. Did you see Lori's live where she used adhesive spray and sprinkle? Yes, I did. I saw that. It's very nice. It was very nice. Horizontally? What you mean, Brenda? What you mean by horizontally, girl? Yeah, he, he says they burn out, but you just have to put batteries in. <laughs> you just have to put new batteries in. I told you, I'm a bad student. <laughs> I make him shake his head quite a bit. Quite a bit. But it's okay. I was hoping they'd let him take pictures at the White House, but I guess there aren't. That's a bummer. So... Alright guys, there you have it. Thanks Sally. Thank you Lisa. Green corn. Red. Okay. Package of cornbread mix. Oh, this sounds like what we make, but we call it corn casserole. Like your little arms reach into the... <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we call that corn casserole, Lisa. And we do love it. Thank you, Roxanne. Let me stick the wires in somewhere so they're not sticking out. Yeah, <laughs> he does give me a hard time, but I give it right back. I give it right back. <laughs> he don't scare me. Alright guys, that's all I have for you tonight. I have no idea what I'm going to make tomorrow. None. But, um, thanks, Brenda. I just wanted to do something different. I know. I don't have any more of these white snow, uh, white Christmas trees. Unfortunately, I only bought eight, and you know when I go back, they're not going to have any more, guaranteed. Because that's what always happens at the Dollar Tree. And I was so mad at myself for not going back to get it. You too, Roxanne. I mean, for not buying them. You know, I buy hundreds, hundreds of things I already have. And then when I really need something... I don't buy them. Stupid, right? Stupid, stupid. Let me put that. Ah! <laughs> stupid thing. I just knocked it over. Ah, let me put the camera up. Say goodnight properly. Thanks, Andrea. <coughs> All right, let's put this up. I feel like something's going to fall over. Uh, all right, guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Thank you all for being here. Love you all. God bless you all. Good night.